Kim Jong Un's armored train. A luxurious yet battle ready massive green train has rolled across North Korea's border into Russia, carrying leader Kim Jong Un to a meeting with President Vladimir Putin. Since taking power in 2011, Kim has made seven international trips and crossed the border into South Korea twice, using a train emblazoned with a yellow strip for the majority of his overseas travel. The Kims reportedly have several almost identical trains made by a factory in Pyongyang. Nicknamed the Moving Fortress, Kim's current train has bulletproof windows and reinforced walls and floors to protect against explosives, according to South Korea's Ministry of Unification. It is equipped with attack weapons and a helicopter for escape in case of emergency, the ministry said. To bolster onboard security measures, Pyongyang in the past has asked for guards to be deployed along the tracks, as it did for Kim's Hanoi visit. There are believed to be at least 90 high-security carriages at the leader's disposal, three trains operate each time the leader travels, an advanced security train, the leader's train and a third carrying additional bodyguards and supplies. Moreover, the train also carried two armored Mercedes to take Kim to and from the train. Each of the carriages is bulletproof, making them thousands of pounds heavier than average. That additional weight translates to a slow ride. The trains are estimated to reach a maximum speed of just 37 miles per hour. Kim Jong-il was rumored to have had a fear of flying and preferred to travel on his train, which was outfitted with modern communications technology and a large staff that catered to his whims. It was possible to order any dish of Russian, Chinese, Korean, Japanese and French cuisine, wrote Konstantin Pilikovsky, a Russian official who traveled with the former leader during a 2011 trip through Russia. Mr. Kim insisted that live lobster and other fresh delicacies be delivered to the train as it crossed Siberia on trips to Russia. Cases of Bordeaux and Burgundy wines were flown in from Paris, Mr. Pulikovsky recounted in his memoir of the trip, Orient Express. When bored, Mr. Kim relied on a group of female entertainers known as lady conductors to serenade him in Korean and Russian. It is unknown what his son, Kim Jong-un, does for nourishment and entertainment while on board, but the younger Mr. Kim's appetite is known to rival his father's. He reportedly prefers Swiss cheese, Cristal champagne, and Hennessy cognac. <laughs>